Okay, this is the uh, little bonus extra. I had a chat with uh, the great Rod Martin yesterday, and uh, we got onto Orb Amos being a, a bit of a mentoring figure and a bit of an influence. You told me something afterwards, and I've got to go back to it because I am a massive Karate Kid fan, all three movies, uh, Cobra Kai even more so. Um, he got you doing some strange stuff, and, and Jonah actually told me when I talked to him about Orb Amos because he, he also had a close connection with him. Joey is actually the godson of Orb Amos. I just found out yesterday as well. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, nice. But he talked to uh, Orb used to say, You have to be neglectful, Jonah, to them. Yeah, I, uh, you can say something about that sort of goes down that path. Well, yeah, I mean, it was a, it was a funny and eccentric sort of guy, and uh, you know, he didn't charge me for any of the coaching or anything like that, but. You know, he, he would get me up to his property. He had a house on a really steep hill with a lot of bushland in front of his house. And we, he would get me clearing that. And we'd be clearing, you know, fallen trees and you know, all the rubbish in his front yard, all the, all the bushland in the front yard. And we'd just be pulling it from one part of the bush to the other part of the bush. Oh, that sounds so I familiar. Don't, I don't really think there was much purpose in where, while we were moving it, but we were moving it somewhere. And it was just like a daily, not a daily or weekly thing that would go up there and do stuff like that. So um, Post-training. Yeah, yeah, post training, and it's and it did feel a bit like Karate Kid, you know, that yeah. um, he's getting me to do some waxing on and waxing off yeah. in a different way. So, uh, <laughs> oh, look up, then wax, wax. Well, what do I have to wax? I, 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 remember, dear, no question. Yeah, but uh... right. wax on, right hand, wax off, left hand, wax on, wax off, breathe. It, it was a funny, it was a funny, um, sort of. Thing we did but yeah it was great because i felt like i was giving something back to him as well like he, yeah. he got me to do this i was happy to do him help him out and you know he was an older guy and um you know he needed help to you know lift some heavy stuff and things like that and it was it was good just to be a part of that sort of stuff with him you know yeah he was joey just told me yesterday australian judo champion did you know that yeah, yeah. And, yeah <laughs> he did a lot and you know he was involved in sport you know his whole life really and but he took squash up at a late age and yeah. then he got into training and he, he just he just loved the sport basically and he helped a lot of people for for just love of the sport basically yeah it's yeah, philanthropic almost in a way like yeah. you say no cost and then there was uh, just finally there was this i want you to just hit the ball as hard as you can and you took that we talked about it yesterday you go to the queensland open junior and, and senior where you had your first you know real big win and you were just absolutely unleashing on the ball yeah so and then th and that's what he got me to do he said right you're gonna hit every ball 100 percent, no matter where it is you're gonna try and hit the ball 100 percent power and i did that <laughs> even on the serve so it was like one of those things where it got me to get in, in position quick. It got me to be quickly, you know, prepared. Got my feet in good position. I was onto the ball quick, and and you know, attacking the ball all the time. And uh, it made a difference that week. And it, it sort of taught me a lot in that sense of learning how to control the ball, how to hit the ball at 100 percent power, how you need to be in good position, your footwork, you have to be balanced. So all those things have to, uh, you know, come together for you to have 100 percent power. And if you if you're always a bit lazy on the ball or your feet are spread out too far, you're not going to create the power that 100 percent power. So it sort of taught me a lot going forward into my career and then into coaching and the way I coach about certain things like that, yeah. Well, you, your intensity is pretty high, Rodney. I can feel the laser stare going through me now, so I'm going to have a bit of a rest because uh, Marwan's <laughs> coming over and he's going to get that stare now as we do this little okay. how well do you know. All right, perfect. Yeah, well, I, I thought that, that was down, but uh, that was so close. Well, controversy towards the end, perhaps. Just for the world open. He's done it, yes. The world open to Rodney Martin in four games.